My name is Muhammad bin Chandra from Material and Metallurgy Engineering. Uh, hello, my name is Ashan Jufari from Mechanical Engineering. Uh, my name is Anil Uswa from Metallurgical and Material Engineering. Okay, and, and in this video we're gonna uh, mention about Chapter 2, Polar yes. Coordinates. Polar Coordinates. Uh, I will discuss about sketch, how to sketch Polar Coordinates. Uh, and I'm going to discuss about Polar Coordinates in calculus. And I'm going to discuss about uh, Polar Coordinates. It when it is applied to the job field. Ok, in this section I will discuss about how to graph a polar coordinate equation. Uh, for this example, I will use if r equals to 9 sin theta. Uh, for the solution, uh, we can make uh, another another r like r equals to 9 sin theta equals to 2 times 9 divided by 2 sin theta so the 2 can we so the 2 we can uh, ignore it for this equation we can get r equals to 9 and the center of this graph is 0 0.9 divided by 2 uh, okay here I have my diagram Cartesius uh, and the radius is R we can give a point in here and the center is 0 0.9 divided by 2 so it is 4.5 in here if we make a circle so the graph will be like this okay for second example I will use uh, the equation if r equals to 8 plus 8 cos theta uh, so first we have to know uh, the coordinate so I will make this table first there is a theta cos theta 8 times cos theta 8 plus 8 cos theta and the vinyl coordinate uh, next we can use 0 as the degree as the theta if theta is 0 so the cos theta is 1 1 times 8 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 so the final coordinate is 0 0.16 next I uh, will use pi divided by 2 the cos is 0 8 times 0 is 0 8 plus 0 is 8 so the final point is pi divided by 2.8 next I will use pi cos pi is minus 1 8 times minus 1 is minus 8 8 plus minus 8 is 0 so the final point is pi point 0 next I will use 3 pi divided by 2 3 pi divided by 2 is 0 8 times 0 is 0 8 plus 0 is 8 so the final point is 3 pi divided by 2.8 the last one I will use 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 8 times 1 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 and the final point is 2 pi point 16 after we get the point we can use coordinate Cartesius again this is again and we can give the point for angle 0 and 16 we can 
give it here give this sign here and pi divided by 2 is 90 degrees so here and then pi and point zero is here next uh, 3 pi divided by 2 point 0.8 uh, is here and then the last one is 2 pi point 16 here next we can connect it connected it with each other and the graph will be like this all right now in this video i'm going to talk about a little bit about the chapter of polar coordinates so let's just get straight to the point Just as you know from a previous school about the coordinates, all coordinates you know when they teach algebra, they give you an x and y coordinates. And again, as you know, x just tells you how far you move left or right, and then y tells you how far you move up or down. So sometimes Cartesian coordinates, x and y coordinates are called rectangular coordinates because you kind of move in a box-like shape, so polar coordinates are just another way to represent the same point in space. So suppose we go over x units and up to y units. So generally we're at some point that has the form x and y. The idea is instead of talking about a moving left or right, up and down, we are going to talk about from the origin going to a certain angel okay so I'm going to draw the line here there we get a line of X and Y okay it's a little bit of not straight just pretend it to be a straight line and then we get a distance out to that point, so the angle I have to go, we call that theta. Here we call that theta. And the distance over the line, we name it as R. And then... We also need to notice it get a little right triangle here. It's a right triangle here. A triangle that we have gone over X unit up and Y unit. Like this, Y unit from the side. So from this little diagram we get an equivalent form we get an equivalent form here here we call it x and here we call it y an, equiv an equivalent way to describe this point when we go over x units and up to y units we basically label it as r comma delta okay here's the delta yeah it's not perfect though and that's the distance you got you go out theta as the angle okay so I will try to make some more sense out of this just another of some basic formulas that you get from this diagram. However, that x equals r, here I will write it down, just let me change the color, x equals r time cos theta
and then there's y equals r times sin theta and if you are given r here and theta how to quickly convert it back into x and y coordinates and then also we have that r r square equals to x square plus y square and that's just that's just the Pythagorean theorem and then there are also the tangent here of theta again back to the here wait I'm going to write it down first tan the tangent of theta equals to y for x okay so that's just all some basic relationship that are going to be important for the next sub chapter of this uh, polar coordinate system so i'm going to explain how we use the polar coordinates in calculus too uh, i'm going to explain how we find the area of this graph is using the equation of the polar coordinates of a equal to integral b a 1 plus 2 r square d theta this point r theta equal to b and the right lines r is r equal to f theta and this point is theta equal to a so the first example is to determine the area of the inner loop of r equal to 2 plus 4 cos theta to find the theta we need to do the 0 equal to 2, for 2 plus 4 cos theta and so we can know that the cos theta equal to minus 1 plus 2 and the theta equal to 2p per 3 and 4p per 3 and these are the graph the r equal to 2 plus 4 cos theta and with this point is 2p per 3 this point is 4p per 3 <coughs> We go to the equation of a equal to two graph for p per three and two p per three times one per two times two plus four cos theta square root theta and equal to integral for p per three and two p per three one per two times four plus sixteen cos theta plus sixteen cos theta square theta equal to integral for p per three and two p per three times two plus eight. 8 cos theta plus 4 times 1 plus cos times 2 theta equals to integral for p per 3 and 2 p per 3 times 6 plus 8 cos theta plus 4 cos theta times 2 theta so we integrate this so we integrate these equations to become 4 people 3 times 6 theta plus 8 sin theta plus 2 sin times 2 theta minus 2 people 3 um, times 6 theta plus 8 sin theta plus 2 sin 2 theta and the answer of this one uh, is 4p minus 6 square root 3 and the second example are is to determine the, determine the area of that lies inside r equal to 3 plus 2 sin theta and outside r equal to 2. So we to find the theta, the equ equations are 3 plus 2 sin theta equal to 2. So sin theta equal to minus 1 per 2 and theta equal to 7p per 6 and 11p per 6 and minus p per 6 so on the graph of our 
plus 3 r equal to 3 plus 2 sin theta in the blue line, the r equal to 2 in the red line. So the equation r a equal to integral 7 p per 6 and minus p per 6 times 1 per 2 times 3 plus 2 sin theta square minus 2 square equal to integral 7 p per 6 and minus p per 6 times 1 per 2 times 5 plus 12 sin theta plus 4 sin square theta theta equal to integral 7 p per 6 minus p per 6 times 1 per 2 times 7 plus 12 sin theta minus 2 cos times 2 theta d theta and we integrate these equations to become 7p per 6 times 1 per 2 times 7 theta minus 12 cos theta minus sin 2 theta and minus minus p per 6 times 1 per 2 times 7 theta minus 12 cos theta minus sin to theta and the answer are 11 square root 3 per 2 plus 14 p per 3 okay so in this final chapter uh, we're going to talk about the application of polar coordinate in the job field okay so first let me uh, introduce you to polar coordinate first uh, polar coordinate provide a method of rendering graphs and indicating the position of points on a two-dimensional surface. The polar coordinate system is employed in mathematics, physics, engineering, navigation, robotics, and other sciences. Okay, so now let's jump in into the application of polar coordinate. So this is the application of polar coordinate in daily life. Okay, so the first application is for avoiding collision between vessels and the other ships and then the second is guiding industrial robots in various production applications and the last one groundwater flow for calculating groundwater flow in radially symmetric wells okay the end